Five years ago, the Masonic Homes Board of Directors identified advancing memory care as a strategic priority. Out of this conversation was born the Stepping Stones program, which addresses all care needs surrounding dementia, beginning with prevention. We reviewed our existing memory care programming, as well as examples of memory care programs within the senior care industry. We found that most daytime programs took place in a single room or area within which staff implemented various activities. We considered several areas of our campus that might be suitable for hosting this type of program. After evaluating all relevant factors, including renovation and operational expenses, we decided to move away from the traditional approach of confining memory care programming to a single location and instead created a mobile program. The resulting Compass Club utilizes our community's best features, including the music room, arts and ceramic studios, library, and fitness areas, offering diverse programming that is tailored to each space. We were looking around at Masonic Homes and saw that besides the memory care unit, there was really no specific social support for residents who are struggling with memory loss. And when someone's going through memory loss, especially the early stages, is when isolation begins and people's worlds become smaller and smaller. They start to stay in their room a lot more. And that's exactly what we wanted to address. One thing that does not change though is um, just human needs. Like in psychology, there are Maslow's hierarchy of needs where there's the physiological needs, the safety, love and belonging, and esteem and self-actualization. These are human needs. That doesn't go away just because someone has memory loss. Everyone has individual rhythms, individual days. So our program workers, our navigators, adapt to the needs of each individual participant so we can meet those needs. Just walking from here to there with a friend is a normal, healthy way to exercise and socialize. So it all just ties in together and makes a lot of sense to make it a, a mobile program. A mobile day program for memory support. A mobile day program for memory support. A mobile day program for memory support. There's um, a snail, oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can keep a those. pumpkin or the cap. Do, what, what, do you do the eyes? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. The Compass Club program offers lots of different activities for the residents and ceramics is just one, one more activity for them where they can express themselves. Some of the residents have experience in ceramics and some have absolutely no experience with ceramics so we can adapt the program to to make it work for them eyebrows oh and there's a tiny bit right there in front of the ears okay you can see that maybe I should go home and get my glasses <laughs> oh this is another um, we offer them a, a large selection of, of choices uh, some residents prefer doing things that are a little bit more detailed and other residents like to do things that require less detail the goal is to make sure that they end up with a, a finished product that they could give as a gift. So this is our music room and the whole campus is available to use this room. We use it for mainly music appreciation. Music appreciation is where we dive into a particular artist or genre and talk about the history, um, who performed certain music, the life history of an artist and we listen to some of the music. It allows them to access their long-term memory. Um, and in that review, they can think back to the accomplishments they've had throughout their life. How would you step for a square dance? Whatever they hold. Okay. <laughs> Music benefits Compass Club residents, as many people, by allowing us to feel good. Uh, when our emotions are tied to music, and when we listen to something, it can increase our happiness. Some of the positive benefits I've seen for our Compass Club residents are that when I've knocked on the door of someone who's previously isolative is that they say, okay, what are we gonna do now? And they come out and they participate 
with us. Here at the Masonic Home, our typical horticultural therapy is engaging the people in the moment. What that does is it, ca it captures the opportunity for the person to, to have a purposeful activity. Uh, oftentimes in this population that I work with with horticultural therapy, it's not about uh, rehab per se, although there are situations like that. It's mostly well-being and we use the patio area, the inside tabletop activities, indoor plants, outside plants, we use to provide a purposeful activity that they can be engaged in, not just when, a, let's say, a, when I'm here as a horticultural therapist, but as they can go out onto their patio, they can come downstairs and they can have an activity that they're taking care of a plant, that they're responsible for, and that builds, continues the self-esteem and the, um, meaningful, purposeful life. Here in our Blue Zone area, we try to focus on healthy foods and healthy eating and healthy living, whether it's you know the diet that they have or the exercise that they do or the things that they do to strengthen their mind. It's, it's kind of an all-around nutrition rather than just food. Uh, our blue zone really encompasses the the act of family, the act of loving, socializing, eating healthy, living healthy, and just being healthy and happy in general throughout your life. And so that's what we want to try to not only incorporate in our blue zone, but throughout our whole home. The Compass Club uses the blue zone for snack time on Wednesdays and Fridays alongside the other residents of the home. The Compass Club also uses the Blue Zone for tabletop programs and games. Some of our residents have played cards socially in the past. They have stopped for a variety of reasons. When we play cards together, it's very normalizing. It's a time to sit back for conversation and for a friendly competition. The Brain Gym is uh, an area just like a regular gym. You just come to work out your brain instead of your muscles. And uh, we use a variety of different ways to do that. We use brain games, things like Lumosity. And the Compass Club residents uh, depends on each individual person. They have their own needs um, and their own abilities. And we try to make sure everyone feels welcome and, uh, and appreciated and are able to do the activities without uh, pushing them too far so they get frustrated. In my Boost Your Brain class that I hold, there uh, have been multiple residents that have gone through the class and they come back to me afterwards and they say that the things that are brought up in the class, like ways you can increase your, your physical uh, abilities or emotional, they find that when they're out in the home after the class, they are much more aware of what's happening, are asking more questions about their lifestyles and do I really need to do this and am I being challenged? Pet therapy brings happiness to the residents. It's a program they look forward to. Pet therapy, among other benefits, can be very relaxing and calming for the residents. When a dog comes, you can see the resident's face light up. They, they want to pet the dog, they talk to the dog. It's kind of like their own pet is back with them. Some of the positive benefits I've witnessed are residents' faces lighting up. They look into the dog's eyes and they talk to this pet and for a few moments, their old pet is back with them. see that they are, they are starting to remember more, they are safer in their apartment, which means they fall less, they're in less dangerous situations, they tend to be more outgoing, more social, they interact with their friends, 
And we've seen those results on what we call the mini-cog test. Now the mini-cog test focuses on, asks the residents to remember three words, draw a clock face, uh, with, and label it like at 1110 or 215, whatever we'd like them to do, and then remember those three words. So we'll repeat the three words we asked. What we've noticed is maybe the score doesn't change, but when you look at the clock face, you see an incredible improvement in not only the drawing, but also their understanding of the concepts and understanding of the instructions. And finally, we also see that the spouses of the residents enrolled in the Compass Club are now thriving. They're not as overwhelmed, they're not as stressed out, their anxiety level has decreased, and all of those things lead, lead to a better quality of life. Well, it's important for a memory care program to be flexible because our information comes from the participants themselves. We can have ideas, we can do our research, we can put our program together, but it, it is there to serve the participants. It's there to serve the residents, so it's our job to figure out what delights them. So we want to string together moments of connection for them, moments where they feel really good to be themselves and get that little hit of happiness that can just make their, make their day that much more happy.